we are a uh, not-for-profit uh, police support organization that's uh, uh, housed and our headquarters building is in uh, Alexandria, Virginia in the United States of America and we are an international association with some 20,000 uh, members worldwide in over a hundred countries and our goal and our objectives are to provide uh, the best uh, training uh, possible for police uh, leaders and to develop what we call uh, best practices, model policies for uh, police officers uh, as they go about doing the job of policing. One of the things that we're obviously most of, uh, focused on is trying to focus on those, uh, those countries around the world that are emerging uh, uh, in, in terms of rule of law and we want to make sure that uh, we give them the opportunity to see how other uh, countries that uh, have advanced are also working on uh, trying to make sure we keep our, our citizens safe. The challenges that we all face uh, in terms of trying to make sure that we keep the citizens of our, our countries uh, safe are, are the same. One, uh, making sure that uh, the, the fundamental human rights are adhered to. Uh, so there are issues that uh, every nation is dealing with in terms of uh, cybercrime uh, is a major concern that uh, we all have. With the explosion of the internet, uh, that's a huge concern. There's also a concern about, uh, 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 at, unfortunately, we still have people trafficking in uh, human beings, and which is a huge concern in every nation. Uh, whether you call it uh, human slavery or if you just call it human trafficking, the fact of the matter is that there are people being victimized and used uh, for, for the profits and gains of other people, and that's a common problem that we have across, uh, across borders. And, and perhaps uh, the one that uh, just continues to linger on is the uh, war, and I don't want to call it a war, but uh, what we have called in, in years gone by, the war on drugs. It continues. Uh, and because of the impact that uh, drugs have on various communities around the world, uh, we continue to focus on doing what we can as the International Association to bring about uh, collaboration with uh, uh, various agencies that, uh, like the Interpol uh, to see if we can bring some best practices to bear and then share what we know with uh, other countries around the world. Interpol uh, and the IACP, I think uh, we have the same uh, objectives in mind. Now, Interpol is an operational entity, whereas the International Chiefs of Police uh, Association is a support organization. But I think we can support each mission, uh, given the fact that we're focused on, on law enforcement worldwide. And one of the examples of that is the idea of, uh, of cybercrime, which is something the International Association of Chiefs of Police have been working on uh, with the FBI, uh, with uh, our Homeland Security uh, agencies in the United States, and with uh, other uh, entities uh, across the world, and so has uh, Interpol. And what we've learned is that uh, we can learn from each other. The, the, the advances that are made, the, the, the conferences that are put on by Interpol, that we can go in, uh, collaborate on what the best practices are, take that, uh, that information, that shared information from one, uh, uh, whether it's a conference or whether it's a uh, meeting, uh, we can take the information take it back, uh, share it with other nations, bring in various speakers from Interpol uh, to, our, to our conferences, do the same thing in terms of bringing our expertise uh, to Interpol. Uh, and basically the winner in that exchange of information are those agencies, those countries that are engaged and involved with, with both associations. Been uh, just excited about the opportunities to uh, meet with the Secretary General, uh, Ron Noble, and talk about some uh, perspectives on information sharing uh, on a worldwide basis, uh, cybercrime, and then uh, what other aspects of, uh, of collaboration can we forge from uh, the discussions that we're having right now. And I'm really excited about the prospects uh, of uh, Interpol and the IACP 
really working together to do some things that, uh, that are going to be, I think, helpful to the law enforcement community around the world, particularly when it comes to cybercrime.